Well, get this, less salt in your diet may lead to fewer nighttime bathroom trips and improve your overall quality of life. The average person wakes up at least once a night to use the restroom. This interruption of sleep can lead to stress, irritability, or tiredness. So less salt means fewer sleep interruptions means less stress. Did you get all that? Uh, so what else can reducing your salt intake do for your health? Nurse practitioner Colleen Dawkins from Swedish Medical Center is here to explain. Good morning. Good, Good morning. Yeah, thanks for joining us. You know, besides uh, fewer bathroom trips, what are the benefits to lowering your sodium intake? In addition to being able to have some better sleep, which is always helpful, yeah. we also see that we lower blood pressure. Um, we improve your risk of developing cardiovascular disease and preventing kidney damage. In general, though, is, is salt in the bigger picture necessarily bad for you? So it's not bad. It's bad when you overconsume it consistently. So the average American is getting somewhere between 4,000 and 8,000 milligrams um, each day. So we want you to try to aim for less than 2,300 milligrams, according to the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics and mm -hmm. the American Heart Association. So when we talk about milligrams, how many people exactly know how to how to measure that? So you know how much salt is healthy? How much how much can I put on like you know a burger or something like that? Great point. So uh, one teaspoon equals 23. 100 milligrams and so you really don't want to add any salt to your food except for when you're cooking because a lot of salt is going to occur naturally especially if you're eating out yeah you have to be really careful yeah especially when you're eating because you really don't know how much salt they're putting you in don't there. yeah so yeah. keeping your portions small is a good way to help control that how, can you is there a way to, to kind of keep track of how much salt I mean like is there a chart or something that that people can use or so the American Heart Association at heart.org actually has some good resources on that but you can also read the food label so looking at the portion size on the back of a food label and then looking at how much sodium per serving is going to be really helpful and there's apps that you can use as well um, on your phone or on the computer that would be helpful for tracking not just sodium but calories and carbohydrates things like that does it you know when I go to gro the grocery store you know do I pick up the uh, regular table salt or the sea salt is one better for you than the other is there a difference um, there's some strong feelings on that yeah, right. I can <laughs> and imagine. yeah and it comes down to the fact that there's a little less there's about 1900 milligrams per teaspoon of sea salt and that's simply because it's a little more coarse so it's less of the actual product per measurement um, but Sodium is sodium, so you want to be careful either way. It's not a free-for-all, yeah. dis you know, despite pink Himalayan or sea salt. You yeah. want to be very careful. So it really doesn't sound like there's any big difference between the, the types of salts, really, just, just in terms some, of your health, right? Yeah. Maybe for taste, yeah. but not exactly Trace for minerals and the other ones outside of table salt, but other than that, you okay. still have to be careful. Other, and finally, what are some other ways that we can just reduce our so sodium intake in general? So um, it's always going to be helpful to look at the portion size, and if you can choose a lower sodium canned vegetable or fresh would be best, um, is kind of you know what they say. Frozen vegetables are good options as well. Fresh meats, um, but mostly trying to choose fresh more often than you do processed foods and eating out. Okay, so really just everything in moderation, would you say, just just bottom line? Every time. All right, great advice. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Back over to you.